What's up everybody, how's it going? A few months ago, I posted a video that was titled, What's Going On With Big Tech? The Tech Recession. It had a dramatic thumbnail, and basically, I addressed the panic that was going on in the markets, where stocks were imploding, the big tech companies, all the fang companies were, you know, doing layoffs or hiring freezes, software engineers were scared that their benefits were going to be, you know, kind of taken away from them. But now, a few months have gone by, things have started to settle a little bit, and I wanted to give an update on what I've been hearing and what I'm thinking is currently going on and will continue to go on with big tech in 2023. Now, to be clear here, I'm mainly referring to the magma companies, meaning Fang, where I'm swapping Netflix out for Microsoft, because Microsoft is just more comparable in size and in presence to all the other Fang companies. But so I'm not really talking talking about smaller companies like startups or even mid-sized companies. So what's been going on with Fang and what's the outlook for 2023? Well, the first thing to do is to look at their business models. Are any of them facing genuine challenges? And here, my answer is the same as a few months ago. It's no. I really don't think that any of these big tech companies are facing major existential threats. The only exception is maybe Facebook. They seem to be the ones taking on major risk with the whole metaverse thing, although nobody really knows what that's about yet. And even though Facebook Facebook is having some struggle with, you know, its growth, like Facebook, the, the product has reached its sort of top from what it seems as far as active users are concerned, but the decline of Facebook will not be a quick one. If anything, it'll be a very slow, gradual decline over a decade or more. It's not going to be something like at the end of 2023, Facebook, the core product is suddenly inexistent and making no money. Absolutely not. And otherwise, I think we can all agree that all of these other companies are so deep deeply entrenched into all of our lives with such good products and business models that they're really not facing any sort of existential threat. And to be honest, most of them have been around for so long now that they've seen many different economic cycles. They've been through tough times before, the dot-com bubble, the 2008 crash. They've been able to weather these storms, and so I genuinely don't think that any of them are really worried about this. Now, what I think is more interesting for us to try to analyze is the hiring patterns at FANG, especially for 2023 because this is something that a lot of us software engineers are interested in. We want to work at Fang. By the way, if you're a software engineer preparing for your technical interviews, do check out my company, AlgoExpert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEMCLEM for a discount on the platform. If you're watching this video on the day that I released it, we're running a flash sale where we're offering a very good deal on all of the products on our platform. Hopefully that helps you out during these tough times. Now, during the last few months, something absolutely unprecedented has happened at Fang. Every single Fang company, no exception, has been having a hiring freeze. Absolutely zero hiring. Now, there's actually a big asterisk that I should put here. I'm going to address it in just a minute. But that is absolutely insane because over the last decade or so, it's been the complete opposite. Every Fang company has been consistently, perpetually hiring across all levels, across all, you know, disciplines with some, you know, blips here and there where Google would suddenly stop hiring like new grads for two months. But overall, it was very short lived. And here, this is the first time that it's just like this huge winter, this tech winter where even the almighty Amazon that has so many engineers and that used to hire so aggressively has paused all hiring. And that's very bizarre. So this brings us to the question at hand, what's going on right now, you know, January 2023, what's the outlook of 2023? And to be honest, I think that first we have to look at this little asterisk that I mentioned, which is that there seem to actually be cracks in these hiring freezes. I have heard of people and seen people who have continued to get hired at these big fan companies. Even just a couple of weeks ago, I saw someone post on LinkedIn that they had just started a new role at Google. And I've been hearing from colleagues at Google that Google, although they have done a complete hiring freeze on L3s, the entry-level software engineers, they haven't necessarily done that for higher levels, which would make sense from a sort of statistical point of view. You know, Google has something like, I don't know, one L6 engineer for every 100 L3 engineers. I don't know the exact exact numbers, but you get the disparity there. And so it might mean that they're still hiring for these much higher levels or senior roles, which they might deem to be less expensive, even though, you know, they command a higher compensation, they're a lot less work 
on the job, you know, a lot less training, a lot less handholding. And so it's very possible that they're still hiring at these levels, perhaps in a sort of uh, subdued manner, but still hiring. And similarly, I'm also hearing that not every discipline or subfield of software engineering is affected the same way. And this would actually support the uh, prediction that I made in a recent video when I looked at, you know, 2023 trends, where I said that I think ML is going to go through a huge boom. I mean, at this point, it's no secret. Chat GPT, large language models, tons and tons of hype. But so what does that mean? That means that ML engineers are also still being hired. Again, perhaps not in the same aggressive manner as they were being hired back in 2022 or 2021, but they are still being hired, even at these big tech companies, more so than your run-of-the-mill software engineer. But of course, the majority of us are run-of-the-mill normal software engineers. And so what is happening to us? Unfortunately, the majority of us have to just suffer at the hands of these hiring freezes. And some of these big tech companies specifically Meta, are still doing, you know, either layoffs or not necessarily layoffs, but like rescinding offers. I've heard a lot of rescinded offers again happening at Meta in the London office, which really sucks. Like that's really terrible. But the good news, the good news, the light at the end of the tunnel is that I am hearing whispers that at Amazon and Microsoft, hiring is going to start to pick up again in an aggressive manner sometime in Q2 or early Q3, which is promising. And that would, to be honest, make a lot of sense. It would coincide with kind of my loose analysis of, you know, the tech industry and the, the macro environment outlook. Right now, it's looking like interest rates are going to start to uh, uh, decelerate in their speed of ascent, if that makes sense. Like, you know, they we've been going through huge increases in interest rates, and it, it's looking like we're going to have kind of a softer landing at the top that's going to top out over the next few months. And then we might even have an interest rate decrease. And when that happens, not only are the markets going to go absolutely insane, but to be honest, the stock market doesn't really have an impact on whether these companies are hiring. Uh, it's sort of a trailing indicator or perhaps a leading indicator. But the point is, when interest rates finally and inevitably start to go down, I think that's when we're going to start to see these tech companies start to pick up hiring again. And I think they're going to do so in a very aggressive manner. I think it's going to be a sort of you know, contained energy that is suddenly unleashed. And to be honest, I think that for all the software engineers out there who are interested in getting jobs at Fang, now is probably a great time to get ready for these jobs. What I mean by that is, you know, interview prepping, obviously with Algo Expert, but also like networking, getting in contact with recruiters or with engineers at these companies to try to be first in line for the interviews when they start to hire again. Because you can imagine that, especially if they're going through the sort of hiring freeze, hiring winter right now, they might not have nearly as many candidates in their pipeline as before. And so if you can kind of enter that pipeline while it's pretty empty, that is very good and can work in your favor. So all that to say, I think that right now is a pretty interesting time one that you can make very good use of if you use it to prepare ahead of when things start to pick up again, which is looking like it's going to be sometime in Q2, maybe early Q3. At least, of course, that's what we're hoping. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Have you been hearing any other rumors? Do you have any insight into what's going on in the industry and in these tech companies? Let us all know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short-form written content. Instagram if you like pictures. And I will see you in the next video.